Okay, Akila. Second book for the day. Woo! So the title is Just So Stories How the Whale Got His Throat, illustrated by Claudia Renucci. So the story yeah. goes like this There's the eel again. Yeah. Once upon a time, there was a whale, and he ate fish. He ate the starfish, and the garfish, and the crab, and the deb. And the sea eel. And the really, truly, twirly, swirly eel. <laughs> and the place and the days. And he ate all the fish he could find in all the sea. Oh, and no. the seaweed. Seaweeds as well. So one day the whale said, I'm hungry. There was now only one small fish left in all the sea. And he said, Normal and generous whale, have you ever tasted men? No, said the whale. What is it like? Nice, said the fish. Nice but nubbly. Splash! This is the, the tail. Oh, then fetch me some. The fish Boom, is so tiny. Whale. Yeah, this is the only fish in the sea. One at a time is enough, said the clever fish. And he told the whale where he could find a man. Oh. So, the whale swam and swam as fast as he could swim. At last, in the middle of the sea, he came to a raft. On the raft was a solitary shipwrecked sailor. Trailing his toes in the water. Splish, splish, splish. The splish, man splish. will be eaten. How do you know? Because it's called a man. Oh, yeah, you're <laughs> right. He wore blue trousers, held up braces, and carried a knife. Where's the knife? Over here. Yeah. And they were the only things he had left in the world. Wow. He's in trouble. In the middle of the sea. The whale opened his mouth, back and back and back, till it nearly touched his tail. And he swallowed the sailor in his blue trousers and braces, and his raft, and his knife. Glup! Ooh! He swallowed them all down into his warm, dark inside cupboards. Then he smacked his lips. Hop! Turn round three times on his tail. Ooh, I ate a man, he said. But as soon as the sailor found himself inside the whale's warm, dark inside cupboards, he thumped and he bumped. Boop, boop, boop. Jump. And he stumped. Stomp, stomp, stomp. And he jumped. Jump, jump, jump. And he hit. And he bit. And then he banged. And he clanged, and he prowled, and he howled, and he hopped, and he dropped, and he danced horn pipes where he shouldn't. Oh, he's very, very frustrated now inside of a whale's tummy. Should it be dark in there? What do you yeah. think? Yeah, very dark, no lights. And the whale felt most unhappy indeed. So he said to the clever little fish, This man is very nobly, and he is making me hiccup. What should I do? Hic How do you do hiccup? <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to come out, said the fish. Oh, so the whale called down his own throat to the sailor. Come out and behave yourself. I've got hiccups. No, said the sailor. Take me home, and I'll think about it. And he began to dance more than ever. You had better take him home, said the clever little fish. So the whale swam and swam and swam, with both flippers and his tails, and his tail as hard as he could, with his hiccups. Hiccups! He's very hurt. Yeah, poor whale. Do you feel, you know, 
uncomfortable when you have hiccups? You do? How do you feel? I thought you was talking to the whale. Oh yeah, sorry, I was talking to you. And this is very clever, small fish indeed. So what happened inside that the whale's tummy? The man built another law. Right, but while the whale was swimming, the sailor took his knife and cut up his raft to make a little square grating all running crisscross. Crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. The knife. He tied it firm with his braces and he wedged that grating good and tied into the whale's throat. And there it stuck. Make it stuck. It's like a, like a filter. At last, the whale saw the shore and he rushed halfway up the beach and opened his mouth wide, wide and wide and said, We're at your stop. Time to go, said the whale. The sailor stepped out on the beach and he went home where he married and lived heavily ever after. But... Before he went, he waved goodbye to the whale and sang, By means of a grating, I've stopped your eating. How did he stop the whales from eating? Ha ha ha! The clever little fish went and hid himself in the mud just under the door of the egg quarter. Shh! He was afraid that the whale might be angry with him. And the whale didn't find him, not until he got out of his temper, and then they were good friends again. From that day on, the grating in the whale's throat, which he could not cough up or swallow down, stopped him eating anything except very, very small fish. See? These are so small. And all he can do is open the, the mouth wide. The eels there. Yeah, the eels are safe now. They don't eat the, he doesn't eat eels, any, eels anymore. And the starfish. And the crab. And, of course, bigger fish. <laughs> and the stingray. Oh, yes, yeah, stingray. The starfish and the garfish and the crab and the deb and all the others were most relieved. <sighs> and that is the reason why whales today never eat sailors or little boys or little girls. D N. You like the story? Yeah.